as you garden, you might find a snake that a lot of people call the garden snake. This is actually a misnomer. It's not called the garden snake, but the garter, G-A-R-T-E-R. -E this is a very common snake found throughout much of Maryland in the Mid-Atlantic region. A snake that grows to be about 30 inches long, and this one is uh, kind of a good example of one. Uh, this one looks a little bit different in that you see this really unique and attractive pattern. It looks like little diamonds down here. The reason why this is showing up so much on this snake is because this snake has eaten a very large meal of several fish. And so he's got a belly full here, and I'm going to handle him very gently not to upset his stomach. Typically you see three stripes going down, one in the middle, one on each side. And the snake is typically a dark colored, sometimes a lighter brownish color, but the stripes are very distinct. Um, this snake will grow, as I mentioned, be about three feet long. This is probably the average size of a snake that's less than a year old. What's interesting about garter snakes is that they are live bearers. Uh, instead of laying eggs, they produce live young in the late uh, summer and early fall. And a good sized snake may produce as many as 30 to 40, maybe 50 little babies. Unfortunately, a lot of the babies don't make it. They uh, dehydrate or get eaten by things or just don't find enough food. They eat uh, worms and small frogs and fish um, and occasionally baby mice, but basically they are more interested in cold-blooded food. Many garter snakes are kind of wild when you first pick them up. They thrash around a lot. And many snakes, when become frightened, also release a very strong smelling musk. Uh, it's their way of saying, let go of me, don't eat me, I smell real bad, I'm going to taste bad. And they throw that musk out on you and um, it's pretty disgusting. So it's part of their defense. Remember, a snake can't hit or scratch you. The only thing it can do is throw musk on you or bite you. Now a snake like this is a very harmless bite. Uh, you would barely even feel it. It may draw a little bit of blood, but it's not um, anything to be too concerned about. Just clean it up as you would any other wound. But the only way it's ever going to bite you is if you're actually handling it and picking it up. Often garter snakes can be found around your backyard fish ponds and lily ponds. A goldfish are pretty easy to catch and they can grab them and enjoy a nice meal there. So uh, be expected if you have a pond in your backyard you might run across this guy every now and then. They stick around for a while and then they go off on their own other places and they may come back again. But uh, don't harm them, just leave them be. Uh, they are just part of nature, a beautiful little snake that uh, needs to be appreciated and not harmed in any way.